Okay, hi there. Uh, let's take a look at the key diagrams that you need to use when you're discussing the different types of profit or loss that a firm could make. So this video looks at normal, abnormal and subnormal profit. A quick run through to start with of the key profit concepts. Abnormal profit is also known as supernormal profit or monopoly profit. And it's basically when a business makes a profit in excess of normal returns. And you can show that on a diagram where the price per unit that they're charging is higher than the cost per unit. Normal profit is also known as the transfer earnings of the entrepreneur. It's essentially the minimum rate of return that a business needs to make in order to stay in its current line of business to keep factors of production in their current use. The convention is that we include normal profit in the average cost of the business. It's the opportunity cost of being in business. And therefore, if a firm is covering cost per unit, if pricing was average cost, then we can tell that a firm is making normal profit. Subnormal profit is obviously a worse situation. It's when a firm is making an economic loss, when the price per unit it's charging is below the average total cost. A firm maximises profits when marginal revenue equals marginal cost. In other words, when the marginal profit is zero. And we can measure the profit per unit diagrammatically on a, on a, on a vertical scale by taking the price per unit minus the cost per unit. So let's look first of all at super normal profit. Here's a downward sloping demand curve for a firm in imperfect competition. The profit maximising output is Q1 and the price the firm can charge is P1 using the demand curve. Then using the average cost curve, we show that the cost per unit is C1. And uh, as we just said, because the price P1 is greater than the cost per unit, this firm is making abnormal or super normal profit. And we show that by the shaded area, it's the profit per unit, P1 minus C1, multiplied by the quantity Q1. That shaded area in blue is the total area of super normal profit. Not every firm, of course, makes a profit. Just recently, we've seen the demise of Toys R Us. Uh, hundreds of job losses, thousands of job losses in the UK and the United States in particular, in part because many of their stores were loss-making as sales were hit by consumers shifting to buying toys online and also the high fixed cost, of course, of many uh, out-of-town uh, supermarket uh, hypermarkets. Virgin Atlantic made a, a hefty profit in 2016, but actually in 2017, they've just announced a significant loss of over 50, uh, sorry, half a million pounds a week. They made a pre-tax loss of nearly 30 million pounds in 2017. Uh, hit by a weak pound, which has increased the cost of their fuel and some engine parts supply problems, etc. And also the effect on, on sales, on revenue of the weather disruption in the Caribbean. So there's a business making a loss. And Tesla... A fast-growing business whose revenues are rising, are going up quickly, but they're finding it difficult to get to scale and to bring the cost per units down sufficiently to cover their production uh, revenues, to cover their revenues, and therefore they made a huge loss of over six hundred and seventy-five million dollars in the last three months of twenty seventeen. Put that in context; that is a staggering amount. They're making eight or nine million dollars loss per day even though the business itself is growing. Definitely one to, to keep keep watching. So how do we show subnormal profit and economic loss? Well, here's our diagram. Uh, here, can you see the average revenue curve, AR, uh, lies wholly below the average cost curve, the cost per unit curve. So there's nowhere this firm can actually make a normal profit because price is always less than average cost. If the business chooses to maximise profit at Q1, then the cost per unit is shown by C1 there, whereas the price they can charge is P1. So C1 is greater than P1. This is the reverse, isn't it, from the previous diagram. Therefore, this firm is making a loss shown by the shaded area. So at the profit maximising price and output, the firm is making a loss or subnormal profit because the price is less than the cost per unit. And in the event of any change in cost and or revenues, if this persists in the long run, then the firm might decide to leave the market and find a sector where potential profits are higher. The shutdown price is a particular 
uh, aspect which is covered in by some examples it focuses on the short term a business can make a loss but still carry on providing of course it, it can still make at least normal profit in the long run but there can be a situation in the short term where actually the losses are so high that it might be worthwhile to shut down some or all of their production even in the in the immediate period the shutdown point for a firm is normally said to be where the price you can charge is at least equal to the average variable cost. So P2 in this example equals the minimum of, of average variable cost. At that price, at least you can cover the running costs of the output you're going to supply. But as you can see, P2 is well below P1. Uh, the, you're quite a long distance from covering all of your costs and breaking even. Any price below P2, below the minimum of average variable cost in standard theory would be a price below the shutdown point. We'd expect to see some businesses shutting down production because they can't even cover their variable costs. However, if they can get the price up to P1, then they can cover cost per unit at P1. At this output, the firm is able to break even and therefore we assume it's making normal profit. So the shutdown price is particularly relevant to firms that are making heavy losses and they have to consider whether they might be better off actually closing down rather than sort of fighting on and trying to trying to stem those losses going forward. Okay, I hope you found this uh, short video useful in, in terms of particularly looking at the key diagrams for showing normal, abnormal and supernormal profit.